G'day guys, I just wanted to uh, make a small tutorial on how to flash BL Halley on my Afro ESCs. Um, I purchased some 30 amp ESCs out of Hobby King and at the same time I also purchased, uh, well look at that, they've given me a discount. Too bad I've already bought it, huh? Um, and I bought the USB program, the tool for them as well, so that uh, I can use the signal wire uh, connection to actually do the programming through the existing bootloader that's on the on the uh, ESCs, uh, which comes with Simon K. So what I did was I've, I've gone ahead and plugged this into my computer, and I can actually see that it's there. So if I go to the devices and printers, um, I see that under the unspecified portion, I've got a a device here, which is a CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller. Um, on COM6, but it doesn't have the right drivers. So the drivers that we need to get are from Scilabs, and this is the site for it. And I've just gone ahead and downloaded the Windows 7 drivers, um, virtual COM port drivers for this device. And we'll go ahead and install that. Now, I've extracted it already, so my virtual COM port drivers are here. And uh, it's just a matter of now installing these drivers for that product. Pick the right one, that would be great. And uh, I accept everything that you guys throw at me, of course. So we'll just let that go off and do what it's supposed to do. So that's been updated. And um, I wonder if I could see here if. It hasn't been. So if we go back to the uh, devices and printers, uh, we see here now that uh, the USB programmer interface has the drivers loaded for it, and it's actually associated now to COM10. Um, of interest, I've also noticed that the USB uh, programming tool has gone red as well, so it's got an LED on it, so that uh, it gives me a visual indication that it, it seems to be up and running. Um, okay, let's get on to the next bit. So the RC Groups page has the links to the BL Halley suite for the PC. Um, <clears throat> this is the tool that you run on your uh, PC to actually do all the configuration as well as uh, the software upgrades to the um, ESC itself. Uh, in other words, the flash, the uh, BL Halley code. Um, so we'll, we'll jump onto that. This seems to be a bit of an endless link. Um, the next one takes you off to the Halley Freak page. And uh, in short, you, you should read a bit of this, but um, 13001 is the current version. Um, and you can download it from that link which takes you off to another site called My Files. And in here is two files um, that you can download, and that has the BL Halley Suite 13001 zip. So I've um, already downloaded this zip file, and I've extracted it uh, so that it actually has the application software executable available. So that's here. So BL Halley Suite. That's, this is what you'll see when you extract it. So we'll just kick off the software itself and uh, and run it. So the Blue Halley uh, software suite, suite screen uh, loads as follows. Um, now what we need to do is configure uh, the software to know where to find uh, that uh, USB UART interface. Uh, the first thing we really need to do is tell it what type of um, programming tool we've got. In this case, the one that I've bought was the Afro EC USB programming tool. Um, you can use a generic Arduino USB linker and uh, you know, another up mail on here. Um, so we'll select that. And lastly, what we need to do is set the COM port, the communications port, and the board rate that it's going to talk to uh, the device at. So with it plugged in, you, if you've forgotten what COM port it uses, um, this actually has a drop down menu. Uh, which tells you available COM ports, and it's the you know, CP210 USB driver. Um, and that can be confirmed by going back to 
that uh, devices and printers as well, right? So we know that it's COM10 here. Uh, and I found that uh, 9600 always works. So it's just a matter of then clicking connect um, to get it to work. Uh, this is going to fail at the moment because I actually don't have a um, ESC plugged into the tool. So to connect in the Afro 30 amp ESCs, um, what you need to do is, of course, you've got to have your USB UART driver plugged in at some stage. However, um, you need to externally power these units. So I've got a 3S, you know, just battery, and I'll use that to power it up before. However, you do that, you need to remove the center pin, and I've got a just a little Stanley knife here, and I just lift up the flap on the connector, and uh, just remove that center pin. If you don't want to be powering uh, your unit by your 3S battery and have um, this also plugged into your PC, that would, um, that'll be quite disastrous. The other thing I tend to do is I don't tend to plug everything in um, without unplugging it from the PC. So we have our earth here, center core is, is removed and we have our signal wire here. So earth so, uh, positive and signal wire, so we'll just plug it in in that respect and um, just add it into our PC. The next thing we need to do is, as I said, uh, provide external power to it. So I'll just use um, this connector, so red goes to red and black goes to black. Simple as that. Um, that'll be now powered. And uh, if I now go connect, we should get connection to um, our USB programming interface. So it's connected. And uh, if we do a read setup, what you'll find is that the, um, you know, the firmware actually detects, sorry, the software on the PC actually detects that we've actually got some Simon K firmware already there, or it's been erased. And I ask you if you actually just want to go ahead and flash the BL Halley firmware. So we'll go yes to that. Um, and I'm actually going to select the Afro 30 amp multi because it's going into a multi rotor, of course. Uh, and simply go OK to that. Yes, that's exactly what we want. Um, erase it. And yes. So and we'll let it uh, go ahead and do its magic. So it'll write to the flash, and then it'll, um, I think it does another read back out of that just after it to confirm it. Um, it takes about 25 to 30 seconds to do all this as well. There you go, it's reading the flash, confirming everything, and then it'll tell us that it's either successful or you've crapped out your ESC. So we'll find out what happens. Hey, successful, 25 seconds. There we go. So we go OK to that, and um, we're presented now with the uh, configuration options for this CSC. So just uh, if you want to verify that the um, software is actually taken to your unit, what you can do is plug in a, a motor which will act as a speaker, of course. Um, the polarity of your connections really don't matter for the sake of this. So all I've done is just hook the motor up. And it's as simple as if you plug in your battery, you should hear the audio three beeps. So we'll just listen out for that. So we should have heard that. I'll just do it one more time. And there we go. Um, we know that that's actually programmed with the BL Halley software successfully. So the last part of the configuration is we need to tweak a couple of these parameters. Um, ultimately what I'm looking for is to have this running as a one shot on my um, clean flight uh, installation uh, off a NAS32 but um, there's only two parameters that I choose to um, configure and the first one's uh, the PW, PWM frequency and I set that all the way to damped light and uh, the other one that I said is the motor timing 
all the way up to high. Um, and there, there's your options for your motor timing, and there's your options for your um, PDM, PWM frequency. Uh, that's all there is to it. Uh, of course, the most important thing is we need to write that setup to um, the chip itself, to the flash, and uh, just hit the right setup. So it's as simple as that. I hope you really found uh, this useful, and you know, go out and, and try this BL Heli um, software. It's um, it's a cool bit of software, especially if you want to enable uh, one shot on um, the flight controllers that are, are coming out to support it. Uh, thanks again, and subscribe if you like this. Cheers.